we're about to spill some tea. That's right. There's a bit of a controversy on Click for Taz. Bit of a conspiracy, if you will. As I arrived, I got the news that basically I will have to quarantine for 14 days when I get back. So when I had booked it, that wasn't the case. And literally the cutoff time is 4 a.m. tomorrow. You gotta do what you gotta do, it's important to be safe. I thought it would be fine because I'm traveling by myself and I'm taking precautions and I'm not really interacting with people, but it is what it is. I just find it funny how I take like one big leap out, basically forced back into, no, you shall be alone for the rest of your life. Let me give you a quick tour of my Airbnb. This is the entrance and then you have like a separate toilet situation here. You have a bunch of cutlery, we love that. The shower situation, the kitchen area. And then this is the living room area where I've made myself very much at home. The TV, the Wi-Fi, got on that straight away. The bedroom, voila, which has my headphones on it because I cannot travel without them. This is really weird, but this apartment doesn't seem to have any Lights? There's no... Where's the light situation? So I don't know what this is for because it doesn't seem to do anything. And the same with this one. I think there was supposed to be a light here, but uh, it's not. I bought an umbrella because it's raining in Paris and I thought, you know, umbrella might come in handy when you're with expensive camera equipment. But um, I just realized how dodgy it looked. Like it looks like I have some sort of weapon in the back. If I'm ever in a situation where I need to protect myself, I can just be like, Ugh. okay. Ugh. Let's try with this hat. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I can't protect myself, but I have an umbrella just in case it rains to protect my camera, but I can't protect me. Should a terrible situation arise. I shouldn't say that. Let's not, let's not manifest that. We're gonna be safe and we're gonna be happy and we're gonna be great. We're gonna be safe because we have our masks. Time to go to the supermarket in three, two, one. Whoa, the keys are weird here, huh? Oh my god, it's like a puzzle piece or something. Oh, I just realised the door was open this whole time, so that's quite concerning. I'm back in the wild. Here we have the supermarket. And this is what a French supermarket looks like. The French version of Nesquik? You know you're in France when they have a whole aisle dedicated to cheese. And we cannot forget about the pastries, the brioche, the bread. I did do some research and tried to find some French snacks. I definitely went overboard with the snacks. This one looks really good, whatever it is. It kind of looks like a tart. Look how cool this is. It's a mini pizza. So definitely want to try that out. And whatever I don't try, I'll just pack in my suitcase and bring back home with me. For food now, the main reason I went to the supermarket, I'm going to have pizza. Now I just got to figure out how to use the oven. This is where things could potentially go wrong. There's no manual either, so uh, this could go wrong. Oh, it's all in French. This is a whole different system that I do not understand. How do I make this work? I am sorry, but can we acknowledge the elephant in the room? Why does Taz look like a glazed roast chicken? I don't know how to make this way. Oh, maybe I push it in? <sighs> I just want my pizza. Look how good that looks. And I am unable to have it because I don't know how to work this oven. Oh, that did something. Oh, 180 degrees. Okay, I recognize that number. Oh, it's come alive. Okay, it's come alive, but I don't know if that's right. But at the same time, I've got nothing to lose. Let's hope for the best with this one. Oh, it's heating up. So now we just wait. We wait. We wait. I have no idea what I just did. That just magically turned on in my eyes. Should I be really cheeky and have dessert before my food? You know what? I'm an adult and that means I can make my own choices. How cute is that? I don't think these are going to make it back to the UK with me. I think I'm going to finish these off. Oh, it's a lot harder than I thought. I thought it would be like a soft cake. It's not. No, I liked it. For a minute there, it had me and I was like, oh, we're going down the territory I'm not too comfortable with. But then it brought it back. The more I have this, the more I like it. It's a grower, a massive grower. This is a 10 out of 10, so good. I found this. I have a thing for mini things. I just like things in miniature sizes. Ow, 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 ow. And I think that makes you happy, hurts you the most. Ooh, 
This is good pizza. It was worth the struggle. This was good pizza. So with the whole like pandemic and quarantine, I've literally spent like four months indoors by myself and I feel like I've stagnated and I feel like I was slowly starting to lose the idea of who I was, which is really hard to come to terms with when you also make videos online. So I felt like I just needed an escape. I just needed to do something really spontaneous and random and just get away just to kind of find that spark again and like I don't even know I just wanted to feel a bit more like myself again so naturally the thing I did was run away from all my problems and go to another country but when I get back it's gonna be back to quarantine hopefully we figure this whole thing out oh look I've actually dolled up and put a dress on today this is the dress I thrifted so it's kind of cool that I'm actually wearing a thrifted dress right now. I am staying in the Montmartre area, which is really close to the Sacre Coeur. I probably butchered that. And they also have a really good view there. And like, I'm a sucker for a view top experience. I feel like whenever I visit somewhere, one of my main goals is to get a view, a good viewpoint. Oh, I should probably figure out how to get this. One of the hardest things about solo traveling, and it's very narcissistic, is trying to take pictures by yourself whilst there's a lot of people watching you. And there's a lot of people probably thinking, what the hell is she doing right now talking to a camera? I'm trying to not care about that sort of stuff. You're gonna take the picture anyway, so you might as well just embrace it. And one of the things I'm trying to fight against is I'm gonna vlog out in public. I'm gonna take pictures out in public by myself. It's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna take a gazillion shot to get the right one, but I'm gonna embrace it. This is my camera setup. And then I have this like self timer thing. And it's a lot of fun doing it in public when there's loads of people can see. Hello. The Eiffel Tower. Yes, I did the classic touristy thing. I came to the Eiffel Tower and it is beautiful and I love it so much. Chilling at the park with a view. Not a bad spot. It is my last day in Paris. I felt like it just went past so quick. On the weather forecast, it said today was going to be like thunderstorms and heavy rain. But then I woke up to the sun. It's a gorgeous day today. I want to show you my outfit because I've done something a bit different. It's a bit out there. It's very out there. It's very bright and colourful. I feel like when I'm on holiday, I feel much more braver to try different things and go a bit out of my comfort zone. This is very out of my comfort zone, but at the same time it's not, is it? I don't know. Now we get to explore Paris. Come with me to Paris. I've come to this spot which has beautiful lighting and it's really quiet, which I love. And I'm gonna take pictures. I've been taking pictures with this, by the way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You connect with Bluetooth and you just click it. And I take it on my phone. Because obviously solo travel problems, you, I'm too awkward to ask people for pictures. And like, it takes such a while. I have to take a hundred in a go, because I'm like that. So yeah, I found this beautiful spot. on the whole self timer pics though. Quite happy with some of the ones I got. Took some behind there. And I don't think you can tell that I took them by myself. So hopefully I don't look too tragic, but my Instagram is about to look fire. <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm click with on Instagram if you want to follow me. Where I was, there wasn't many people. So I was like, yes, I can take pictures by myself without getting judged. This is the Paris people think of. This is so peak. Paris right now. I love it. And I found it. And it's just as pretty in person. And I'm probably going to get run over. Paris, you have been lovely, but sadly it's time to go home. And by home, I mean I spent two weeks in quarantine by myself. I mean, I spent this whole trip by myself, but it was fun. My flat by myself for two weeks is probably not going to be as fun. But yeah, I'm ending it with a bubble tea. It kind of tastes a bit weird, but I paid five, five euros for it. So I'm going to pretend to like it and savour it and finish the whole thing. <gasps> I'm gonna miss how pretty this place is. My flat sadly is not as pretty. I'm gonna go now. I miss you already. I don't wanna go. Okay, bye. It's been the best couple of days ever. I miss traveling so much. I forgot how much I love traveling until I get to a new place and suddenly I'm feeling like really free and liberated and carefree and happy. And now I gotta go back to reality. Great. As promised, I'm gonna do a French food taste test. I've actually had some of this already because I just couldn't control myself. This is how much I saved for the video. And like I would have finished the whole thing but I literally saved it because like I need to save some for the video. Chocolate chip 
brioche and I grew up eating this so this reminds me of my childhood a lot and as you can tell I'm a massive fan I love it oh so good this stuff is like so good I could eat the whole thing in one sitting it's really bad but also really good got my drink because we're about to spill some tea that's right this is a bit of a controversy on click for Taz. bit of a conspiracy if you will this is very interesting and something I didn't expect but actually I think it's quality. My Paris trip has caused a kerfuffle on the internet. Just say my Instagram. Pretty much every time I go on a trip, I'll take some pictures and I'll post on my Instagram. Very normal stuff. At least I thought. So I posted these images on my Instagram and I was personally quite proud of these pictures because I took them myself, as you saw in the vlog, with a self-timer clicker thing and a stick. I can't wait to share them and see what people think. And the response. 99% of the comments are saying that it's Photoshop and that it's fake. One of the reasons I didn't expect that kind of response is because I had been putting up Insta stories on my trip and my uh, Insta stories are now a highlight on my Instagram. So like you could very easily just go on my highlights and tell that I was actually there. So I thought whilst I'm having my snacks, get your popcorns ready, hun, because we're in for a very interesting ride reading all the comments on that post. People really thought they did something. Now don't y'all look dumb. I give these an 8 out of 10. Oh, should we try the chipsters? Oh my god, I should have got another packet. Oh my god, these are so good. I love these. These are my favourite. Anyway, who's ready for the tea? So these are the pictures. Not that I don't believe you, but I feel like this is one of those pranks I fooled my Instagram followers to think I was in Paris for a week kind of thing. The pics looked photoshopped. If it's not, then hope you're having a great time. If this is true, she did me dirty. Maybe she is in Paris, but photoshopped the pictures anyway. I am flattered that you think I have that good enough skills in Photoshop. I don't. I don't even know how to use Photoshop. Haha, <laughs> I just feel like it's a Taz kind of thing to do. But she posted on her stories of her at Paris. Thank you. Oh, again, I've already had this. I have no self-control. This is the expectation. And this is the reality. It's a lot thinner in real life. Cream on the inside. Really good. Girl, is it just me or does the first pic look Photoshopped? And this got 148 likes in three hours. So people were really believing that this is Photoshop. It's not the Photoshop, it's the fact that she looks so unrealistically beautiful that we feel like it's Photoshopped when it's just that she's gorgeous. I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just standing in front of a camera awkwardly with a clicker. Third one looks Photoshopped for real, not gonna lie. This is a prank. So even when people are saying this, they don't completely, they're not even 100% sure. They're just like, yeah, that's Photoshop, right? And I'm like, nope. Nope, I was actually there. Some people wrote a full-on essay dissecting and breaking this down. It's hard to zoom into the pictures. I was trying to figure out if people were wearing masks in the background to at least know if it was taken recently. I don't know which kind of camera she's using here, but I wouldn't say it's an iPhone or the camera she usually films with. It was taken on this phone. I feel like some of them look bad in quality for a reason. I mean, they were taken on a front-facing camera. Maybe that's what it was. There definitely seems to be something off with the first one. I can tell she did something with the photo, but if she completely photoshopped herself into it is the question. I love how they wrote a whole essay dissecting like this is why none of it's true. <laughs> oh, this one the shade. Anyways, have fun planning your next fake trip, smiley face. They really thought they did something, but it makes it so much better because it's clearly not true. And now you just look dumb. So it sucks to be you. <laughs> I love how people are literally coming up with reasons to prove that this is photoshopped. Like, do you want photoshopped photos or something? It's one thing to be weary, but it's like y'all are over here trying to prove to a jury that Taz is guilty of photoshopping a trip to Paris. Isn't this ironic that a lot of people think that these pictures are photoshopped and that I'm not actually on holiday and it's like this big social experiment. But now, because it's a genuine picture and everyone thinks it's photoshopped, the real experiment is how people have convinced themselves of a lie. I think the social experiment now is that 
if enough people say something, everyone will just go along and believe it. No matter how much I tell people like, this isn't photoshopped, I literally have all my stories, I literally did go, people just, it's like sheep, they'll just believe it because everyone else is saying it. To the point where people are so convinced that they're coming up with all these crazy scenarios in their head and it's so weird. It's definitely photoshopped. Where did the tree in the fourth picture come from? Again, you're just picking anything at this point. I love the fact that they were like, it, it possibly cannot be a real picture because there's a tree there. The next thing I'm gonna try is nougat. Very squishy. It's okay, but I'm not really a massive fan. There isn't that much people near the Eiffel Tower by this time, but well tried. Honey, there's a lot of people near the Eiffel Tower at this time. Yo, Tower's almost bigger than the Eiffel Tower, but nice Photoshop, baby. Again, very sarcastic, very shade. I hate to break it to you, but it's called taking a picture from a distance. <laughs> so yes, you're right. Eiffel Tower is big, very big, which is why in the picture you can tell that it's like far away. Haha, <laughs> nice try. We see the remote in the last photo. Nice Photoshop though. I mean, you see the remote in every single one of the pictures. Again, what does that have to do with Photoshop? I don't know. That looks totally Photoshopped. And what's that thing in her hand on the last photo? I don't know if that's Photoshop or not. This is what I mean. I feel like it's a psychological experiment where if enough people say something, you start to believe that thing. It's just funny how you present something to someone and people can take that information and think whatever they want with it. This was a very eye-opening experience for me. I initially posted it, just wanted to post my pictures of Paris, and then it turned into all of this. I find it funny, like I'm joking about like all the shade and all that, like I find it funny. I'm assuming people just aren't used to the idea of someone taking pictures by themselves, and that's why they think it's Photoshop. Otherwise, I'm really not sure. I don't get it. I don't get why it got that much of a crazy response. Follow me on Click for Taz on Instagram if you wanna see all of it go down. Feel free to go on my Instagram now and comment, this is real, this is real, not photoshopped if you want. That was the tea. These are the Galette Bretons and they're meant to be like really popular. Mm. They're not bad, they're very buttery, very sweet and buttery. I mean, they had me at Miniza. It's literally a mini pizza. These are so good, oh my God. This changes the game. These two are my favorite. What a wild ride. It's been a crazy time. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and click the tabs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know that you matter. And I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.